Hi everyone. Thanks for joining today for our Spline Summer Update. Our team has been busy building since our last launch event in December. At the end of last year, we shared with you that Spline was becoming multi-dimensional and multi-platform. We launched support for the Apple ecosystem alongside 2D UI and particles. We've loved seeing what you've created since then. So let's take a look at where we are today. More than ever before, the future of design and the future of 3D is interactive. We see our Spline community adding incredible interactions to their mobile apps, websites, and spatial experiences every day. There are now 2 million of you creating on Spline. Our community has designed millions of interactive 3D scenes for a wide diversity of industries. We are amazed by the quality and complexity achieved using Spline tooling. So let's get into it. Today, we'll be talking about three key focus areas. Let's start with number one, data. We know that working with real data in Spline has been frequently requested by community members like you. This is an important aspect of building meaningful content. So today, we have something special for you. Introducing a real-time API for Spline. Now you will be able to connect with any API and handle data in real time. This new feature allows you to connect APIs with variables, trigger events, and actions to make changes within your scene based on the data that is coming from the APIs. Connect with custom APIs to retrieve, send, or update data linked to your 3D scenes via variables and event actions. Create interactive experiences that rely on real data with authentication. Control when to connect with your API based on the event actions in your scene. Alongside APIs, we are also introducing webhooks. You can generate custom webhook URLs for each of your scenes. These webhooks can be used from third-party tools to push events, notifications, or data. And now, your spline scene can get that information and use it alongside variables. Webhooks allows you to receive data in a simple format that's compatible with thousands of apps. With the power of APIs and webhooks, you can create 3D experiences that are updated live by real data. All of this without coding and ready for production. But we're taking this a step further. Now you can create AI experiences in 3D. For example, connect with an AI model and request information. Then use that information to control the look and feel of the objects in your scene. You can now build your own AI-driven experiences. Easily retrieve natural language to build conversational interfaces in 3D, make 3D objects react to text content from the AI model, and create contextual UIs. Customize your prompts to create content that fits your communication style, and more. Now you have the power to build experiences driven by AI interactions and ship them directly into production. We can't wait to see what you build with this. You can connect all your favorite apps and build 3D experiences like never before. Integrating real data within your 3D scenes has never been easier. The new real-time API and webhooks opens the door for a myriad of experiences that rely on live data and enable you to build content ready for production on the web, mobile, and spatial computing devices. All of this available today. All right, let's dive into our second topic, production. One of our main goals at Spline is to enable you to build production-ready content that works everywhere. So today, we're excited to announce the next phase in that journey.
Introducing Native 3D for Android. Spline is now able to render native 3D content for Android using our new Vulkan renderer, which takes advantage of all the graphics power on your Android devices and easily integrates with your Kotlin projects. You can now create beautiful interactive 3D scenes in Spline, ready for your Android devices. Combine your 3D scenes with other native content, such as text or images. Create 3D scenes that respond to different device screen sizes. Your 3D experiences can also go beyond mobile. Make 3D content that can be rendered on smart TVs. Bring new visual experiences to your smartwatch apps with interactive 3D content in real time, or even infuse 3D visuals into your Android Auto car apps. You can embed your 3D content from the cloud, making it easy to update, or embed it locally for faster loading experiences. You can also make your own 3D app by exporting an app bundle, enabling you to publish directly to the Google Play Store, or create APK files that you can easily share and export directly to your devices. Now you can make your own 3D apps for Android. This means that as of today, Spline provides you with a complete cross-platform solution to make 3D content for every major platform, and all of this from a single source of truth. With this new Android platform support, you can now bring any Spline 3D experience easily to your apps across different devices, enabling unlimited possibilities for 3D content creation. Android support is available in beta starting today and full integration is expected for Q4 2024. All right, our third and final topic today is workflow. We know that building 3D experiences that integrate with the complex logic in your app requires a more powerful workflow that allows you to use custom logic in combination with your spline scenes. So today, we're introducing a code API for Apple and Android platforms, extending the possibility of what was previously only available for the web. For Apple, you will be able to connect with Swift UI, and for Android, you can do the same with Kotlin. The API is simple enough to allow you to easily trigger actions on your 3D canvas from your existing code. This workflow adds much more flexibility for you to create highly customizable experiences change states, object properties, or materials, trigger transitions, or listen to events. Trigger transitions from the touch of a button, or change object properties based on custom conditions in your code. Customize your 3D mobile experience to match your logic requirements. The new code API enables a new workflow between your custom development and your spline scenes enabling you to create customized experiences that previously required highly complex processes. Code API support is available in beta starting in Q4 this year. That was exciting. Today, we announced a set of new features to help bring real data into spline scenes with real-time API, webhooks, and AI experiences. You can now ship to production across all major platforms, including Android, and unlock a streamlined workflow between your project code and Spline scenes. With this set of new additions to the Spline platform, you can now create 3D experiences like never before. And we can't wait to see what you'll create with it. 
We plan to continue working on bringing easy and accessible production-ready workflows for 3D content. 3D is the future for content creation. It's time to collaborate, design, and ship. See you next time. Thank you.